rocks thrown all the way up here for when this thing is just raging. That's me. And that behind me in the van is Jeremiah. He's the one that showed me a lot of stuff so far and helped me to make some of my content that I've produced thus far. I'm grateful for him to have shown me this place and invited me along for this adventure, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. Runoff River, down by China Camp, the South Fork chimes in, another runoff river. The gorge on the left, however, that is the main body, the North Fork of the McCallany River. And just up above it, hangman's tree this was a unique experience coming into roaring camp and getting the narration from the driver mike coming down the mountain explaining the history of the camp as well as the history of the trails and the different groups of people that came in and out over time and contributed to the building of this area it seemed to be a property that was acquired over time in pieces by the owners i have more clips throughout this video that will detail the layout of the camp Kind of the going-ons for the day. It was a steak dinner that evening. So feel free to come along and check this out and learn a little bit of history and see a little bit of stuff about Roaring Camp, a little bit of stuff about gold mining. And, yeah, along for the ride. Thanks for coming along. Like, comment, subscribe if you like it. If not, do that too. Bye. We're at Roaring Camp, checking out the Fountain Youth. We gotta let the brakes cool down coming down the mountain. What do you say, it's a 2,000 mile drop, or excuse me, a 2,000 foot drop over three miles. So it's pretty aggressive on the equipment coming down here. The guy that found this place and pushed through to it, took two cows and pushed them down the mountain effectively and got them to get within what I think a football field or a river in order to find this place. And uh, just the story behind all this is pretty wild. The ingenuity it took to get down this canyon. So, let the brakes cool down, and we're going to make it down to the canyon today. Who's this? This is Mike. Hi. Mike. Mike, how you doing? Good. How long have you been doing this with uh, Roaring Camp here? 20 years. 20 years? And then what were you doing before Roaring Camp? I was retired for four years, but I couldn't take the retirement anymore. No, got I, bored. I, I got bored. No Actually, I didn't get bored. I was done with all the honeydew projects, and the honey said I had to find something else to do. This, I'm not sure... How many more seasons gonna work over here? Cause the honey passed away earlier, late last year. I'm very sorry to hear that. Two days after Thanksgiving, married for 52 and a half years. Oh, that had to be one. I guess I'm a little older than I was. Ah, oh, you look just fine. Thousands right? of you who's doing his job. He's doing his job. Yeah. So do you? Uh, again, sorry for your loss. Do you do any prospecting in your spare time? Well, occasionally down here, I'll come down and I'll do some prospecting. When I have a day tour down here with only a couple of people on it. Yeah. I'll work with them for a little while, then I'll go do a little prospecting. I don't do, actually, don't look for anything. I mark spots that I want to check. There you go. And then I'll go check them. That's how I found that big nugget I got. Yeah. Do you do any other prospecting, mineral hunting in your free time? No, not, not anymore. I not used to. Okay. You, you get a little older like me, and you're all set for life. It's more like a hobby than anything else. Absolutely. So I'll go out and take my grandchildren out once in a while, see, yeah. see get them, trying to get them excited. Yeah. Neither one of them have any much of a care for it. They don't have the gold fever, shall we say. No, I hear it. Do you got any favorite spot you've been to or any spot you've always wanted to get to? Up there by Yosemite, I did pretty good. No kid. I, I got and over here, we got enough close to the fountain like of youth. Five mile an hour, depending on the road okay. Here. okay. So it, it could do that too. But... Get a drink from the fountain. As a matter of fact, the, the South Dakota and South Dakota, the Black Hills, some of the most beautiful gold in the world. It's also the least valuable gold in the world. It's only eight and 10 carat. Yeah, because everything that everything is all contaminated. Cobalt, iron, copper, everything you can imagine. Cheers. They just picked up. Their heart was playing kind of whispering as it was going through the trees down there. And I can tell you right now, it's not what was going on out there in West Coast. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have to get my bearings about myself.
No, pets are welcome down here. Uh, River Ruby down here is semi-deluxe. It's got a kitchenette instead of a full kitchen. It has the air conditioning and everything else in it. It's for $1,600 a week. That's with tax. But that's also on four people. All the rest of the cabins have two double beds in them, except for a lot. Showing us the cabins, looking at all the stuff here on the tour. So detailed, she even gave him a butt crack. <laughs> uh, somebody always has to go look. Yeah, we got it. Sure did. This is where the wizard lives over here. This is all modern stuff on this side. <laughs> Straight up above where she's standing. We're filling in old mining pits, or you saw up by the saw, up, the sawmill up there. Uh -huh. We're pouring a lot. And of uses that. You can rent a high banker. And yeah. Put material into this. I brought my mini max here, and moved some buckets here. Yeah. I was digging right there, but Mike was digging right up over there. See where those buckets are? That's where I found that. Yeah. Right where you're taking pictures, see that big rock? Up in there, where that right giant where that boulder is. is. Right by that big boulder is. Or are you saying right up here on the left in this? No, Mike found that nice piece right up here. Mike and his brother, but see this big huge boulder here? I'll show you exactly where you're taking. Because I, I watched him one day and helped him one day. What was your name again, sir? Oh, Ethan. Ethan. And then what was your brother's name? Dan and Ethan, all right. Yeah, but see, he was right here. See, someone, wherever they, you see buckets, someone's working that, so you respect that. But if there's no buckets or tools there, yeah. he was right here. No kidding. Right there, yeah, it was cool. I, I don't think I took a picture of it. I should have took a picture of it. But he was like right here, right here. There's a big, huge rock. See where that yeah. rock was right there? It was right there before, it. that's where he found it. it oh my goodness. Since I've been here. Because that rock was right here. And he was digging, he was digging like right underneath it and around it. Yeah. And he goes, I metal detected it. He was half classifying down a half inch and he found now, it. Now was the rock still up here at the time? Yes, it was right there. No kidding. And, and I mean, he, he that thing's huge. He was digging all the way around it and he had Ricky come trying to get it out with the excavator and he couldn't budge it. No kidding. But he, has, he dug all this here. You gonna go to steak dinner? Steak dinner? All right, I'm here, had lunch, got acquainted with the site. We got Caesars, apparently as part of the diggings up top. It's like an old ancient channel. We got the river down below here. Let me spin around, you can see it. But now we need to go find Jeremiah. And we need to see what he's doing. See if he needs a hand with anything. And uh, yeah, that's what I got right now. So let's go find my guy and uh, let's get into it here came up to the uh, part of the claim that's Caesars. It's this old high bench. We're probably 60 feet up, 50, 50 to 70 feet up from the river. I'm not a mathematician right now. It looks like somebody's got a, uh... oh, we got something going on here. Oh my. So we got a, looks like the old drift, or if anything, they're still working it. So that's pretty cool to see. So we've got workings all through here. We've got really cool pieces. You can definitely see that we've got a lot of different, a lot of like a good mixture of material going through here, a lot of veining. So your chances of finding gold at Roaring Camp seem to be pretty good. Found a little speck in the day pile. I'll show you that in a minute here, but right now I want to try and uh old school high bank this area. Let's try this out. Walking through here, you can see people are scraping at this. These rocks appear to be sitting on bedrock. This looks like somebody's workings there. So we got bucket in place. 
So what I think I want to try and do, <coughs> so I'm going to poke around a little bit. I'm going to run some stuff through here, just dumping water through the box. Hopefully between the, uh, the blue mat and then a little bit of hog matting, we're able to capture something in here. I don't see anything at the moment, um, but I reckon just like the other claim, we're going to need to run quite a bit of dirt before we see something in here. Um, if anything at all, I'm not sure exactly how these mats will do, just dumping water over it. Um, but I guess today's the day and we're gonna find out if it works or not. So, here we go. Is that guy on the edge? Was it <laughs> the big one? The one below it? There's a small one below it. You can see the gaps around the edge of the rock. The handle's just taped on there. It's not too bad. There it is. That's how big it hurt. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Got the little rocker box over there. I've been chipping away trying to get this rock out of this wall. Tough digging here. So we're going to keep going, keep checking it out. Still messing with this wall a little bit. It's pretty hot though. Might try and run in the river. See if uh, Jeremiah's got some towels or something like that. I forgot to bring a towel. All right. I think I just popped this thing loose here. Check this boy out. Oh, yeah. This is pretty old. We're gonna deposit this right in a pan. And we'll pan this out. All right. Pan what we got high bank down here. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if we got anything that shows up here. Needless to say, we're going to try a different spot because unless I have an excavator, I'm doing absolutely nothing here. Jeremiah, let me use the bicycle. So here we go. Checking out the trail, checking out the river. Getting pretty fast here. Let's go. So riding through Roaring Camp. We're in the canyon here. Just taking it all in. Check this out here. We can see exposed bed rock. We're down right along the river. There you go. I reckon you'd be hypothetically trying to get up in this. And be panning that. In here, try and snipe a little bit in the water here. Cool down during this hot afternoon. So let's see what we can do here. 
because I haven't really seen anybody out here diving. And I swear I see a piece down there right now. Probably just Micah. Looks extra shiny though. I reckon I should check it out. I tried sniping for a minute here at this bedrock spot. Just really not able to get into anything that seems real good. It doesn't see what. This area was under high flood, they're saying. It was back in July or June. And the river's still looking to go down more. I did what I could here just peeking around, but I mean, I only got so many tools I was able to bring on the bike. This is an improv trip real quick, and uh, it's good stuff out here, though. It's absolutely beautiful, so you can see it. Let's check this out. in some time you might be able to make it produce who knows I'm not familiar with this place uh, they were talking about the history and that guys were out here running digging uh, way back when I guess I'd love to re get the story retold to me but allegedly what 29 pounds of gold out of one bedrock crack and apparently that was right below the Chinese camp so a lot of history to this place right in the heart of gold mining territory off of highway 49 if you ever get to check out roaring camp definitely check it out time to get back to camp so it's time for uh steak dinner looking forward to that check out this whole roaring camp hammer thing should be good stuff here so we'll see what's going on again beautiful day the rapids sound pretty loud over here so i want to check these out let's check it out you got rocks thrown all the way up here for when this thing is just raging. Not even joking. So it looks like if you were to get over to that part of the canyon right there, yeah, that'd probably be some good diggings. And I doubt a lot of people are willing to cross all that to get over there. It's pretty awesome. Oh my God. Let's pop down here. Check us out. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get back that back. So this river's raging, things are dropping off of here. So there's a big old waterfall. So I bet this is picked through like you would not believe. We're also pretty far up river. Please, just absolutely amazing. Try not slip fall. Let's see, we got oh, still just coming out of uh, losing my footing here. Let's just get across. Made it back to the bicycle here. There we go. See, lots of cracked bedrock. You got something for everybody here. You spent probably a week crevicing here. You hopefully walk away with something. Who knows? And then on the way back. Almost there. Oh, it's getting fast. Oh, yeah. That's three ounces. <laughs> 
three ounces on this nugget. Yeah, are... The ones in the safe are eight. I got two eight ounces. Hey, that sounds good. Precious gift. Take a diamond ring. You better it, baby. <laughs> you can see the old school buildings. There's a first and second floor story, and the bars would be on the first story, and then the brothels, the call girls would be upstairs, just like you see on the old westerns. That's exactly how it was. But a lot of people don't know that there's a whole tunnel system all underneath that town that connects all those businesses together. And it wasn't because of gold mining. It was so people could travel freely around the town without people knowing. <laughs> so when one girl needed to go to another place, they, she would hop down in the tunnel system, make her way up and pop up, and she would go to work over there. Just made it up the hill here. End of the night. Pretty cool day. Really interesting place. Really interesting history. If y'all are ever into doing something real different, you should probably check this out. If it's not what you're into, then that's fine, but it's time to get home for me, or at least back to what I call home for tonight, so... Thanks for checking it out. Stick around next time.